I always tell people that moving to Saipan has been one of the top three life decisions I've ever made. Number one was joining a network marketing company. And as a result of that experience, I gained the courage to do number two, which was to quit my job as a civil engineer. And then three, when Saipan came around, if I hadn't uh, joined a network marketing company, if I hadn't quit my job, I wouldn't have had the freedom to escape the rat race and um, relocate to Saipan. So they're all connected, but it does rank as one of those, one of the top three decisions that I've ever made. Now, what do I like about living here since I've been here now so long? Um, I'll share with you the positives and they're mostly positive. There are no deal breakers uh, yet. But if you stick around till the end, I'll share with you at least one negative. So, you know, it won't all be positive. Number one, the weather. Saipan is pretty much on the same latitude as Jamaica. And I grew up, I was born and grew up in Jamaica. Saipan is in the Guinness Book of World Records as having the world's most equable temperature, most constant temperature, 79 to 89 all year round. There are some people who like, you know, change of seasons and fall and winter. Uh, as, a, as an island boy myself, I like, you know, summer all, all, the, all year round. So the weather is one thing. Uh, number two, the people are friendly. Local population, very friendly, uh, very welcoming. Uh, so I've enjoyed that and liked that since the beginning. Number three, I like the fact when I was originally looking into moving to Saipan, I discovered that it's on the U.S. postal system, which was a plus, it's U.S. banking system, U.S. currency, so I didn't have to make any drastic changes to the way that I was doing business. If I am fulfilling uh, orders from my books to customers primarily in the United States, then the fact that it's on the U.S. postal system was a definite plus, didn't have to, uh, as I said, make any drastic changes to my business operations. As a a uh, permanent resident, a green card holder, I need to be in the U.S. for a certain amount of time in order to maintain that status. Saipan is officially part of the United States for immigration purposes, so that's a plus as well. I like the fact that it's that uh, Saipan's proximity to Asia. If you check out my Jamaican and China blog and vlog, you will see that I travel to um, Southeast Asia, China, Vietnam, Thailand, Singapore, Laos, Cambodia, and Saipan is located right in the region, so I can use this as my home base for trips and jaunts to different parts of, of Asia. The pace of life. I like the fact that things are a little slower paced here. It's a small community. Um, it's not as hectic as New York and uh, people know who you are and for some people that might be you know negative but pace of life is um, pretty slow and i like that as well there are certain like even now i can sit on the beach for hours at a time and not run into a single person uh, i can pretend that i'm like tom hanks in the uh, castaway movie not run into a single human for hours and hours along with that pace comes a certain worldview, a certain inertia that sort of retards and impedes progress to a certain degree, or what people refer to as progress. So Saipan in 2023 is pretty much the same as it was when I came here in 2006. And for me, that's a good thing. You know, we're not overrun by um, some of the uh, what people would call the trappings of progress. So things proceed a little slower, and that's a, a good thing in my book. Natural life. I can live a natural life here as a vegan, a vegetarian, raw foodist. I can practice my philosophy of living according to sunlight, water, earth, air, and time. Uh, there are fruit trees growing naturally. There's mangoes, there's coconuts, there's papayas, so I can live a natural life here and not have to rely 100% on shopping at the supermarket. In fact, the only things that I buy at supermarket are certain items that I got used to in the States, flower bars and terror chips 
Uh, but other than that, a uh, few fruits every now and then. But for the most part, I shop in farmers markets and live off the land, as it were, buy, lo eat locally and live a natural life in this increasingly unnatural world. That's pretty much it for now. There is a whole lot more I can come up with, but I won't uh, take too much more of your time. But as promised, one of the things that comes with a slow pace of life is something that I've been challenged to get used to. I learned to drive and my whole attitude and worldview when it comes to driving and getting from one place to another uh, was forged in the streets of New York City. That's where I learned to drive and you know for fun I would go driving up 6th Avenue in Manhattan with the taxi, taxi drivers. So getting used to the slower pace of driving here is, has been a challenge but it's a good thing. I mean you know with that pace comes a certain sanity when it comes to driving. When you see a pedestrian on the street and everyone stops and puts on their hazard lights and allows the pedestrian to cross, no one is blowing their horns, you know, you come to an intersection and you spend a few moments there telling, you know, the person to go ahead and they're telling you, no, you go ahead, no, you go ahead. So um, there's a sanity that comes from, you know, the slower pace as well that I've just had to get used to having been, uh, having learned to drive in the, in the in New York City. But that's it for now. I'm sure I'll be doing a, another video uh, on more reasons why I like Saipan. You can check out the wheelofsaipan.com website that I started years ago that has a lot of other residents views on what they like about living here. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments and questions below and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, subscribe. Right. <laughs> you know, hear what a man say. And always remember, prioritize freedom.